Hello, welcome to the first part in building a custom ROM for your device. Okay, in the previous video, I showed you the system requirements you need to get started with building a custom ROM. And while well, I don't have the system requirements and my machine is low graded for that. So for that reason, I'll be using Google Cloud. And if you are also someone who doesn't have a nice system requirement as the uh, operating system building suggests, then you have to follow this video and then I will be building a Google Cloud account. And with this Google Cloud account, I will set up a console where we can begin building our operating system for our phone. So now to get that working, you have to open your browser and search Google Cloud. I will keep this in the description so that you can be able to access it easily. So search Google Cloud Console. Some people might be having a question. Don't worry, this question might be answered in my Telegram channel. So the Google Cloud Console says we should log into our email. So please log in with your email address. Now that you have logged into your account, you can see the account is showing at the top here. Well, just click on Start Free. Here it brings me to a place. It says Step 1 of 2 Account Information. Well, you have to choose the location you are currently, and I'm in Ghana, so just click on Agree and Continue. And then if you do this, it's going to require you to add... Um, it's going to require you to, uh, to add a credit card. And with this credit card, they will credit uh, $300 into your account. And with this $300 into your account, it will be a free trial that you would use for 91 days. It's actually written here 90 days, but I've tried it and I know the day they are going to give you. So they, you use it for 91 days. And with the help of this uh, $3 credit in your account, you would be able to create a virtual machine uh, with a high spec system on Google Cloud. And then you will be able to um, cover up with everything else. You understand? So here, um, I don't have credit card for this particular account. So I'll go into an account that I have the credit card. And then I'll show you how to create a virtual machine. So if you just put your credit card number, the dates, uh, and then the original name, and then you just click on Start Free. This is an account that I have been using for a little bit of time now. And you can see that I have $73 left in this and I have never used any of my money, my original money. I've never used it. And the free trial is what I'm using to do everything that I've been doing on the Google Cloud system. Maybe in your case, you are not going to see the welcome page, uh, page like this. You are going to see a big $300 written and an activation button written there. Well, you don't have to activate it if you know you don't have money in your account and you'll be using the free trial only. If you have any question, drop it in the comment box or go to my Telegram page and let's discuss. Now that you have everything set up, you have to click on create a virtual machine on the home page. Well, if you don't have this, click on the navigation menu here and then come to computer engine. Click on the computer engine and it's going to open a page for you. This is how the create virtual machine page looks like in your case it might not be looking like this there will be a big create instance in here because i have already created this hack text and import rom machine this actually is showing here so please it looks a little bit different but it's all identical because it's the same google cloud to create a virtual machine click on create instance Now, when this page comes, the first one is asking for the name. So scroll to the first one and then put in the name for the instance. Firefox seems to be lagging a bit on making the Google Cloud loading smoothly. For that reason, I'll be downloading Google Chrome and then I'm going to go into all this process. I'll pause this video to make it a little bit faster. So, see you. Now I have Chrome set up successfully, so I'm using Google Chrome. So put the right name here. In this case, I want to use htex. So this is the name of the virtual machine. And then the region to please kindly choose uh, 
a region closer to your side and then if you choose the correct region scroll down to the machine configuration now on the machine configuration please use the e2 e2 is a low cost and then it can help you to build your own well it also doesn't consume a lot of your free trial so it is good you keep it on e2 now on the machine type choose custom and now if you choose the custom the course make the course eight cores you can use this course but it's not going to build smoothly and it's going to take a lot of time to finish the build well it costs around 60 36 gig of internal storage which is the memory the ram is 36 and then the course is 8 now that you have this configured let's configure the boot disk now scroll down skip all the other ones and then come to the boot disk so the boot disk is down here so this is the boot disk click on change and now on the operating system side choose ubuntu on the version of ubuntu please choose any version you want but i recommend the 2204 lts So this is it and then the boot disk type choose balanced persistence disk sorry standard persistence disk on the size you can choose 500 500 internal storage but for me i want to stick to 400 to reduce the cost because i'll just be building one operating system at the same uh, at a time now that i have everything set up like this click on select Now that you click on the select, scroll down a bit. And then the firewall section, click on allow HTTP traffic and the HTTPS traffic. In fact, take all of them. Now you can leave all of the remaining the same as it is. And then this is going to consume $30 at 30 cents per hour. So now if you are done, click on the create. Now the virtual machine creating is done. Well, after it got created, it starts it automatically. So click on the SSH here. And then it's going to open a web browser. And this web browser is going to authenticate the SSH access. Click on authorize. And now you are in. So you have created a virtual machine. So now you have the SSH access, you can begin building with this one. Or in the next lesson, I'll be teaching you how to turn this into a GUI, a graphical design interface, so that you can communicate with the system more. So this is how you can create a virtual machine on the Google Cloud.